Hello, my name is Kevin Hill, and I'm a Cloud Solutions Architect at NetApp. Today I want to talk to you about one of our NetApp Cloud Data Services, that being ONTAP Cloud in Amazon Web Services. What is ONTAP Cloud? Well, ONTAP Cloud is the same enterprise data management software that customers have been using on-premises for over 25 years. This is really where they can actually use the same processes and procedures, same features and capabilities, now natively in Amazon Web Services. Instead of having physical appliances, you actually use native public cloud resources. So this is where you have a virtual machine or your EC2 compute. You have your underlying Elastic Block Storage, or EBS, and scale that up how much ever you need. If you want to do a high availability system, you deploy another node, and then also its storage. And then also we have the capability of doing auto tiering to object storage. So if you wanted to do a cold tier, you can actually push the cold data over to an S3 bucket. So that's something that deals with the underlying infrastructure. So that's great, but why would you end up using an on-top cloud system? Well, some of the reasons are the different benefits. So the benefits are really where we come in with our data management capabilities. So our data management offers the ability to go ahead and use things like our data protection, our snapshot technology to go ahead and have those instant point in time recovery points for your data. Our data uh, efficiencies you know, with data deduplication, thin provisioning, compression, compaction, reducing the overall underlying amount of storage that you need so you can reduce your public cloud spend. We also have our instant data replication capabilities where you can actually if you have a connection between your on-premises data center and the public cloud, you can go ahead and use Cloud Manager to quickly, quickly and easily do a click and drag of your data and push that up to the cloud. And conversely, if you really want to move your data back, you can also do a snap mirror back on-prem. Just depends on what your needs are. So what this enables you to do is be able to move your workloads to the cloud today. Go ahead and take advantage of lift and shift to move your workloads to the cloud. What kind of workloads? Well, let's see, let's put a use case here. Use case. Well, some of the workloads might be disaster recovery. Move your DR workloads to the public cloud. No longer have to worry about going to a secondary or tertiary data center. Go ahead and take the advantage of the elasticity and scalability of the public cloud with your data. Another use case would be production workloads. This is where you can easily use the same process to lift and shift your data up to the public cloud, leverage on top clouds high availability and non-disruptive operations, which ensures you can run your mission critical applications now in the public cloud. Now, great, I want to do a little bit more. Well, we have other customers that are using on top cloud for file services, moving their organizational shares up to the public cloud to make them available. So this is going to be for a uh, variety of workloads. You can either move NFS workloads, you can move your SIFS workloads, and I should also mention that you can move your iSCSI workloads as well. So your block and file services now available up in the public cloud with embedded data protection, with Active Directory authentication. So take advantage of those. And also one more I want to mention is DevOps. I mentioned DevOps because the cloud is a great playground for developing new technologies. Well, you can do a lot of elasticity with your compute, but elasticity with your data is sometimes a little bit more difficult to achieve. This is where NetApp's FlexClone technology makes it easy to spin up space, uh, zero capacity clones of your data and make them available to your developers immediately. Whereas in the public cloud, you're going to have to carve out additional storage containers and also copy that data so your developers are waiting. Okay, say you're interested and you want to try and move forward in trying out on top cloud. There's two consumption models. One is a uh, marketplace consumption model with pay as you go. That's where you go to the AWS marketplace, subscribe to on top cloud, and select either hourly or annual uh, consumption model. Now, the other one is a, a subscription model where you end up working with a NetApp rep 
or partner or bring your own license. Simply work with your NetApp rep, acquire a license, and apply that for your ONTAP Cloud system. If you'd like to get started with ONTAP Cloud or any one of our other NetApp Cloud data services, please come to cloud.netapp.com.